Tamara, what's tonight's number? 93. 93, America, and why? Okay, so there is a new study out that could end cancer. End cancer. Finally. Finally, someone did it. Okay, so 93% of the small group of 29 participants with previously incurable or constantly relapsing acute lymphotastic leukemia have gone into complete remission after this series of tests and studies. So what this new doctor has done is completely or change the way T cells interact with cancer cells. So before T cells are your natural body's immune system and they f they're fighting cells, but cancer is smarter than T cells and can convince T cells that they are just normal cells doing normal things. And so the T cells just ignore them. And so now what this doctor is doing is drawing blood from the patients and changing the way the T cells interact with each other within a petri dish and then letting them harvest for a little bit and then injecting them back into the cancer patients. When this happens, the T cells are programmed to fight the cancer cells in the blood it's still iffy if they can do this within actual organs and actual cells that have the cancer bodies that aren't in the mouth, in, in the blood, excuse me. So like bone marrow and actual tumors that have cancer in them aren't curable at this point. But as of now, T cells are fighting off the red blood, or the blood cells that hold cancer. And if I'm not mistaken, and I could be wrong, but leukemia is cancer of the blood. Yes, that's exactly Boom. what it is. Yeah, buddy. I also <laughs> want to be an ER doc, but you know, <laughs> Yes, leukemia is cancer of the blood. I think this is this is really cool, and I mean, I think here's the thing. This is why it irks me a lot, mostly all the time, when Republicans, and I hate to make this political, but I think it has to be, when Republicans and these maniacs believe that we shouldn't fund R&D, research and development. Yeah. Because when doctors like this particular doctor, Riddle, Dr. Riddle, Stanley Riddle, right, can do this type of research without worrying about like, oh my God, how I'm gonna pay my bills, mm -hmm. right? And they can spend all, all the time doing this type of things. We can figure out cures to diseases, people. We can figure out cures to things. We're almost, we're so close for a cure to HIV AIDS. We are literally days away from a cure. Yeah, but at the same time, people are paying lots of money for these medicines to be pumped into their body. That's true. And the thing that I think is so beautiful about this is we're actually utilizing what is also already in our bodies and already trying to fight off the cancer cells and not something like a foreign body that we're injecting into no, totally. a human's entity. No, totally. And I, I think, you know, we should spend so much more like, uh, and this is the problem with the pharmaceutical initiative that I have, like we should be really investing time on how we solve cancer. Right, like we, the pharmaceutical industry, if they were doing the right thing for humanity, they should be working to make sure that they don't exist. Right, like working to cure diseases and solve yeah. problems so they don't have to, you know, keep people on insulin for the rest of their lives or keep people on chemo for the rest of their lives. But regardless of that, I yeah. think this is a huge discovery uh, and big totes to this doctor. 